tell you a little bit about the classical mime or pantomime that you'll see in The Sleeping Beauty. This can be very daunting for an audience when the dancers start to gesture about wildly trying to tell them something. You'll find yourself asking, what are they saying? Well, we use this as a tool to further the plot in a fairy tale. So you'll see specific gestures representing words in a sentence. I have with me Alexandra Meister as the Lilac Fairy and Eric Harris as the Evil Carabas. So Eric is going to start us off with the curse. Go ahead, Eric. You listen to me as I speak. That baby will grow and be beautiful and full of grace. But that baby will find a spindle and prick her finger and die. And now Alexandra will bend the curse to save Aurora. She will grow and be beautiful. When she pricks her finger, she will sleep. And one day, from far away, a handsome prince will bring the kiss that will wake her. So now that you know what to look for when you'll be watching the ballet, you can let it just feel a little like when you attend a Shakespeare play. For about the first five minutes of the old language, you're totally confused and you don't know what's going on. But if you just relax and let it wash over you, within about 10 minutes, you'll completely understand. Let the same thing happen when you watch Sleeping Beauty and you'll start to understand what the dancers are saying with their bodies.